Well, hey guys, uh, welcome back to the workshop here. Um, as promised, uh, this next knife build I am going to uh, document from start to finish. Um, making another one of these little guys here. Uh, it's turned out to be quite a popular blade. Um, so I've got uh, at least two of them to build for, for a friend and another client. Um, so I'm going to start. I've got enough uh, steel. I've got some CPM 154. It's an inch and a half by 530 seconds. So I've got enough here to complete one of these uh, little guys. Um, I've dubbed them the, the Wolverine because they're just small and wicked. And if I do it right, if I can cut things out right, it leaves me enough metal possibly to uh, build a replacement blade for this, uh, this folder. Um, I really hate the steel on this folder. It's just soft. It doesn't hold an edge worth a darn. So I thought, what the heck, if I've got a tail end of uh, CPM 154 left over that I can use, um, that's what I'm going to do and replace the blade on it. But that is a down the road project for another day. I've got uh, a few more projects that I've got to finish up here. Um, another one that I'm going to start documenting here too, guys, is I've got this kitchen knife. Um, it's already been profiled and hardened. So all i got to do is grind the bevels and, uh, and put a handle on it. So once I get this uh, ground to the point where I'm ready for heat treat, then I'm going to start grinding the bevels on this. Um, and then on the weekend we're going into the city and I can pick up some dry ice for my uh, heat treating process and I can heat treat this one and this skinning knife that I had to I had already hardened had to anneal uh, so that I could drill the pinholes in it for the guard and that guard just uh, you know, just fits up just like that nice and snug quite happy with the fit that this got and uh, yeah oops I got it backwards that's why it's not get it around the right way and uh, get that pinned up once I've got this hardened and complete that nice so I can get it delivered and paid for and uh, move on to uh, some more projects I've got a customer who called me and he is asking me to design a, a couple of uh, Viking saxes for he and his wife. Uh, he wants a his and hers matching set. So I've got to get uh, to pen and paper there and get that drawn up for him too. But I guess that's enough yak and I better get cracking here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to, I've got this cleaned up, got the mill scale cleaned off of it. I'm going to spray it with some uh, some layout bluing, trace this profile on it, cut it out as close as I can with, uh, with the uh, angle grinder. Um, normally I cut, cut the blanks out with my uh, portable bandsaw, but CPM 54 is just brutally hard on blades. You get about two minutes into cutting a blank out and that blade is finished. So I've got to reserve uh, some brute force here and use a grinder and a grinding disc. So, let's see if I've got enough left in here to coat this up nicely. Oh, yeah. Get a nice coat on there so I get a nice deep, deep outline. And once that is dried, then we will. Uh, We'll get to uh, cutting it out, profiling it, uh, drilling the holes in the handle. What else do I got to do? I got to taper the hand, taper the tang. I do that on a lot of my knives now. So we'll give that a few minutes here, and we'll come back. We'll get this traced out and start uh, start cutting it out.
put some witness marks on here that I'm going to work up to, um, leaving myself about 25 thou thickness here on, on the bevel and uh, about a two millimeter at the end of the of the tang here that I'm going to taper it down to. Um, and then once that's done, then we're going to be ready for our heat treatment. So uh, yeah, let's uh, quit the yakking and let's just get cracking. So there we have it guys, got the tang tapered down nicely, um, got the bevels ground, got them nice and nice and even, um, down to about 25 thou, I'll do heat treat and then we'll uh, clean this up a little bit more too before we go to heat treat and then we'll do our, our heat treatment and then back to the grinder where we'll go through a progression of belts and take this down to about uh, I'm thinking 15 thou um, get it polished up fairly nice and then we'll put an edge on it we we'll need to get our handles on but uh, I think I think I'm gonna reserve that for the next video this is gonna be a two-part video because uh, this is just uh, getting pretty long so that's where we'll leave it here for today and uh, we'll catch you back tomorrow when we start uh, tomorrow evening when we just start doing our heat treatment.